Number one, the ends justify the means. Number two, it is better to be feared than loved if you cannot be both. Number three, the wise man does at once what the fool does finally. Number four, the first method for estimating the intelligence of a ruler is to look at the men he has around him. Number five, the more sand has escaped from the hourglass of our life, the clearer we should see through it. Number six, never was anything great achieved without danger. Number seven, the greatest deception men suffer is from their own opinions. Number eight, all courses of action are risky, so prudence is not in avoiding danger, it's impossible, but calculating risk and acting decisively. Number nine, he who wishes to be obeyed must know how to command. Number 10, the promise given was a necessity of the past. The word broken is a necessity of the present. Number 11, it is much more secure to be feared than to be loved. Number 12, all men who have accomplished great things have been dreamers. Hmm. Number 13, never attempt to win by force what can be won by deception. Number 14, men are so simple and yield so readily to the desires of the moment that a deceiver will never lack victims for his deceptions. Number 15, the injury that is to be done to a man ought to be of such a kind that one does not stand in fear of revenge. Number 16, the one who adapts his policy to the times prospers, and likewise, that the one whose policy clashes with the demands of the times does not. Number 17, politics have no relation to morals. Number 18, the prince must be a lion, but he must also know how to play the fox. Number 19, when you disarm the people, you commence to offend them and show that you distrust them either through cowardice or lack of confidence, and both of these opinions generate hatred. Number 20. There is no avoiding war. It can only be postponed to the advantage of others. Number 21. It is not titles that honor men, but men that honor titles. Number 22. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Number 23, where the willingness is great, the difficulties cannot be great. Number 24, the lion cannot protect himself from traps and the fox cannot defend himself from wolves. One must therefore be a fox to recognize traps and a lion to frighten wolves. Number 25, a return to first principles in a republic is sometimes caused by the simple virtues of one man. His good example has such an influence that the good men strive to imitate him, and the wicked are ashamed to lead a life so contrary to his example. Number 26. The injury that is to be done to a man ought to be of such a kind that one does not stand in fear of revenge. Number 27. There is nothing more important than appearing to be religious. Number 28. He who seeks to deceive will always find someone who will allow himself to be deceived. Number 29. War is just when it is necessary. Arms are permissible when there is no hope except in arms. Number 30. Nature that framed us of four elements, warring within our breasts for regiment, doth teach us all to have aspiring minds. Number 31. Men rise from one ambition to another. First, they seek to secure themselves against attack, and then they attack others. Day. Number 32. The fact is that a man who wants to act virtuously in every way necessarily comes to grief among so many who are not virtuous. Hmm. Number 33. In the actions of men and especially of princes, from which there is no appeal, the end justifies the means. Number 34. Before all else, 
be armed. Number 35. When neither their property nor their honor is touched, the majority of men live content. Number 36. Men judge generally more by the eye than by the hand, for everyone can see and few can feel. Number 37. Whosoever desires constant success must change his conduct with the times. Number 38. The prince who has relied solely on fortune is ruined when it changes. Number 39. Men are driven by two principal impulses, either by love or by fear. Number 40. One change always leaves the way open for the establishment of others. Number 41. Be aware of a man who interrupts you when you speak, for he is not interested in what you are saying, but only in what he is about to say.